Hello YouTube, DTP Carrier here with another tutorial. This tutorial is intended for people who already have a soft modded Wii. Okay, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Wii theme. First off, you're going to need three things. Your system menu app, which I'll have a video later telling you how to get that. My menu Fi, I'll leave a link in the description. And the Wii theme pack, I'll also have a link for that in the description as well. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to extract all the Wii theme pack stuff out. Okay, now this one, you have to open up my menu file and look for your source, which is your system menu app. See, it'll be the only one showing up there. Now, you want to search for your MYM file. it's this one don't choose this one I think this is only for people who don't have like the latest software on their Wii or something I, I never needed it so just choose the new run first MIM and hit create then you wanna save this in that folder this is what you wanna keep okay I'm gonna name this Wii theme file dot CSM or something. You can name it anything. Okay, now you want to make your theme. Like if you're using like software version 3.2, use that. If you're using like 4.0 or higher, use this. Okay, next you want to do is just basically have a Photoshop or something open up the images. Okay, now you basically just make your own thing. Just do whatever you want. Then you just hit save and save the images, overwrite the old ones. Well, I already saved it, okay. Okay, now you just do this for everything you want to change, basically. I'm going to open this up and paint on it and it loads quicker. Okay, then just keep doing that. For everything you want changed. Um, I'm going to change all these buttons here. Okay, then when you're done editing what you want to be edit, all you do is go in the folder, select all this, and you want to either have WinRAR or some kind of decent like zip application or something, like WinZip or something. Um, and what you want to do is make a zip, then instead of it having just a zip extension, you want to change it to .mym, then you can name it whatever you want um, we then you hit OK then you should have a file down here you wanna copy this and paste it out here okay now open up my menu file 
Now we're gonna use that file we made earlier. The the we theme file. We're gonna open and we wanna go to DMIM file that we just made. Then you hit create. You wanna have your SD card handy. So you can put the file in the on the SD card and load it up on your Wii. Okay, now I'll ask for you to save the CSM. Let's put like final Wii theme. Okay, now you copy that this file over your SD card, and then you move over your Wii. Okay, I suggest when you make your Wii themes to keep everything organized, you make a folder called CSM to put your Wii themes in. Like, see, I got all these Wii themes here. Okay, now pretty much once that's done copying over, you just plug it in your Wii and open up my menu file and load it like you know, like any other theme, kinda. Okay, now to the Wii side of things. Okay, once you got your SD card back in, you want to open up the Homebrew channel. Now once it's loaded, you want to open up the My Menu FI application. Now navigate to your theme folder. Now, if you ever want to go back to your system defaults theme, just load in that app file that we used at the beginning of the tutorial, and it will reset your theme back to the default. Okay, if you had any problems, like installing the theme and you had like an error code message pop up on the screen, then you obviously did something wrong. Just use Preloader to get, like, open up my menuify and turn the theme off okay now that's pretty much it this is DTPK signing off